A dear friend of mine, uh, Howard Phillips, who when I first uh, started out in politics was a conservative leader and a, and a great father and leader and patriot. Uh, on April 20th, uh, Howard Phillips passed away. He grew up in Boston where he became an avid baseball fan. He knew all the teams, all the players, and remained a passionate fan throughout his life. He fought hard to get into the Boston Latin School, and from there he invaded the liberal bastion of Harvard, where he held, upheld conservative principles and even started the, uh, served on the chairman of the student council. Howard made national news during the Nixon administration when he fought to abolish the Office of Economic Opportunity. Howard, a leader, a champion, and a great father and a great leader, founded in 1974 the TCC, the Texas, uh, sorry, not Texas, the Conservative Caucus. In Iraq became one of the major nationwide conservative organizations. It made headlines for opposing the Panama Canal, supporting Ronald Reagan's effort to rebuild our defenses. The conservative movement will not be the same without Howard. In fact, the conservative movement would not be what it is today without his leadership. In 1960, he helped found the Young Americans for Freedom, which became the model for conservative political action groups. Howard, Paul Weirich, and Richard Vickery, Jerry Fowle, and other key leaders became the founders of what we know the modern conservative movement. Over the years, Howard stood firm to on conservative principles when it was often easier to compromise with the establishment and others. When we saw Howard, and when we saw the GOP tilting too far from the left, he found the U.S. Taxpayers Party, now the Constitution Party, which nominated their candidates in 92, 96, and 2000. He was their nominee. It is with distinct pleasure that Howard uh, rose a new generation of conservative leaders. As a, as a precursor to the Tea Party, Howard was always there. Howard's work lives on through his family and through his children. Howard's movement helped build the Conservative Caucus, and through his work in the large family includes his son Brad, who founded the Persecution Project, which is active and, and very active in South Sudan in saving lives in the battle uh, South Sudan, and his son Douglas Vision Forum, which is a major homeschooling ministry. Through the Mar many Americans inspired by his leadership and vision, Howard is survived by Peggy and his six children and 18 grandchildren. God bless you, Howie. We love you. And on, uh, if you all can make it, on April 29th, a funeral will be at McLean Bible Church. And I yield back the balance of my time. God bless you, Howie. We love you.